Ah, so I have some more fun Ayurveda concepts for you. And I'm going to use a candle. huh? So I'm going to talk about prana, tejas, and ojas. What are those? These are really fun concepts because they're the essence of the elements. Okay. So there's something that we can't really grab and grasp. And so they might be something that's a little bit harder to understand. So my goal right now is to help you understand through a little bit of an analogy. So our ojas, that would come from the earth and the water element. Our ojas in this candle would essentially be the reserves. So it would be the waxy part of the candle. That's the reserves that are in our body. It's our, it's our vitality. It's our vigor. It's our glow. So when you see someone that is just glowing, like they just exuber life, they probably have a lot of good ojas in their body or they have a healthy amount of ojas in their body. So that would be the, the waxy part. Now we move into tejas. Tejas would be the fire essence, the essence of fire. And so all of these work together and that'll kind of come in as I continue to uh, tell you about it. But tejas would be our fire, right? The tejas is helping to melt the ojas not to liquefy it, but to help ojas move in circulation, right? If we just have this ojas and it's cold like that, then it can stagnate and turn into ama. And if we have too much, then turn into waste essentially. So the tejas would be like our, our spark, right? When you just see some people that just have that spark for life, that enthusiasm for life, we can say that, they have this awesome sort of productivity and you're like, how they, do they get it all done? You know, how do they make things happen? They just do it. They probably have a good amount of tejas. And then prana would be the third one. And prana, you we can't see this right now. Prana, it, it comes from the earth and the, sorry, the air and ether. And that's coming around, right? We can't see it, but we know that the prana helps to move that spark and helps to circulate that ojas. Now, what happens if they're all not working together, right? If our prana, which is a very important, I mean, if we're not breathing, we're not here, which we, we know that, right? If our prana is diminished, then we see our tejas start to dim a little bit and it might even go out. So if our tejas dims a little bit, then we might not have motivation for life right? It might kind of make us feel a little bit heavy and a little bit blah. If our Tejas is out completely, whoop, which there it goes, then that's going to cool our Ojas as well. That's going to make our Ojas kind of cool and stagnant, we can say. Okay? And we don't want that, right? We want this glow. We want this life. We want a balance of all three. We want our candle to be burning. We don't want our candle to burn out. And we don't want our flame to be so high that it's left with, I had one here around me, that reduces our ojas because we need that vitality as well. So keep your candle burning gently, lightly, keep yourself warm, keep yourself moving and build your ojas through nourishing foods and nourishing practices. Do the things that make you go instead of all the things that make you go and have an awesome day.